hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's a girl mojo this victoria today's video is actually going to be a makeup tutorial i'm going to be teaching you all you know a very fast and easy everyday back to school makeup i know it's you know resumption season it's back to school season some people are in school and some are yet to resume like myself so this is something very fast because i know as students we actually don't have time to do something so much on our face and if you don't want to you know look like you're having too much on your face but you still have something in your face you want to look alive when you don't feel alive inside the best part is beginner friendly sit back and you know learn okay the first step is your primer you really want to prime your face and you prime your face according to your skin type if you have a dry skin you need a moisturizing primer and if you have an oily skin you need a mattifying primer if you have normal to combination skin then you just have to kind of figure out is my skin more dry or more oily to pick your primer so i just put this all over my face pat it in make sure it stays in and just like skincare you guys you cannot actually essentially rush your makeup because you need every product to dry so after patting this dry into my skin i'm going to wait a few minutes to let it dry and make sure it's tacky on my skin but like i said as students we actually don't have time so you don't have time to actually wait for your primer to dry while i wait for my primer to dry i usually go in to brush my brows so i go in with this um la colors brow brownie wow whatever just for your brow so i just use that to brush my gel <laughs> i just use that to brush my brows up brush it properly brush it up depending on how you like your brows to look you're going with either a brow pencil or a brow pomade so this one is from la colors you can use a pencil just make sure your pencil is sharpened to be very thin don't use a thin um, a thick so if not, I'm going to have block brows. But if that was like, I mean, why not? There's a small. It comes with a spoolie, but this is the angled brush. So you just go into the pomade this way, little because it's very pigmented. So you just go into it and use it to fill out, draw out tiny lines. Once that is done, you're going with a concealer that is two or that is very close to your skin tone i usually use two concealers but the concealer that is closer to my skin tone is what i use to you know i light my brows this one is from the adventure makeup so i just go in with this my brush this angled brush i put some of the concealer on the brush and this angled brush is just so that you can have more control over where the concealer goes because using this you can kind of go into your brow hairs and you don't want that so when you go in with this angled brush flat you go in so close like this and you're just shaping out the brows that you have just drawn blending your brows you have to be very very careful because you can easily make the mistake of blending the concealer into your brows and you don't want that because you have destroyed everything you've done that's why as a beginner i actually recommend you start with your brows so that in case you make any mistake you can clean it off imagine you've done your entire makeup and your brows fucks it up and you have to clean it off like so just start with your brows then the same brush this is the technique i used to teach just pick it like pick the concealer and drag it down so this way i'm using this concealer the ss as a eyeshadow primer like that what i usually do with my concealer so you pick and drop pick and drop it's going to take time but after your brows generally you are basically done with your other routine so you just do this and drop pick and drop and do that technique for the other side also for the upper part too you pick and pull you're pulling this time around not dropping pick and pull but you need to be very careful guys you need to be careful this side makes or mark your makeup routine you pick and pull pick and pull but be careful not to over blend because the essence of putting the concealer here is actually to help your brows be defined 
to make everything better i just go in with my primer this one is the major makeup grip from elf and it's actually very good affordable um setting primer setting for <laughs> what setting spray so i just spray that all over my beauty blender and dampen it up don't make it sweat guys just dampen it up and i just tap especially the upper part just tap it and that is that for your brows and like i said once your brows is done you're actually basically done with your routine so let's go in with the skin prep like i usually say your skin prep is the most important part of your makeup routine and my skin prep is basically my skincare routine then i just use my primer since my primer is properly dried i go in with foundation this one is for a friend and it's um v beauty foundation um it's in the shade um chocolate pie seven so just going with little you don't want too much little so i just do a pump a pump and make sure you do this on your cheeks guys please on your cheeks i'm going to explain why very soon going in with a concealer brush i'm going to spread that all over but i'm going to focus on this side of my face like the ends of my face and that is because we're still going to go in with concealer here and we don't want to put foundation there because we're still going to go in with concealer and if you put foundation you're putting too much product under your eyes and it's going to cause creasing as we all know creasing is one of the like worst things that happen under your eyes in makeup so i just want to put the foundation on your cheeks and just pull it down and you know do this and like i said for every makeup is always dabbing okay don't drag makeup all over your face dab it so put it just try to avoid your under eyes just put it on your cheeks here yeah. and please don't be one of those people that do, that don't put makeup on their forehead guys you guys look like clowns in real life so blend that in properly <laughs> Next step is my concealer so this is the concealer that is closer to my skin tone and that is the same one we use for our eyebrows so you want to go in with your concealer do this and do this on both sides and see the way i did not put it exactly under my eyes and that's because when you're blending it's going to be hard to blend when the concealer is actually on your crease but with the placement right now, I'm going to blend into my crease and not on my crease. You need to put it here too for highlights. You can take this screenshot. This is where you want your concealer to be placed. While I give my concealer some time to dry, I go in with this palette is from better me i go in with this palette and this is my favorite shade to use so i just go in a bit with this powder and um, brush i just dust that away and blend my into my crease and remember guys this is a simple routine so i'm going to do too much with our eyeshadow so the color i put into my crease i'm going to bring it down i recommend that depending on how light you are go for a brown shade <laughs> I love your makeup. <laughs> Thank you. Nice. I'm not done yet. Still. You're not done yet? Thank you. And honestly, that is basically it. So we're going for something simple, remember. So the next step now is to blend out. Going with setting spray again and spray on my beauty blender. This is old and crusty, but it gets the job done, guys. This is my like I like it. So when that is done, I do this. Like I usually say, dab. <laughs> this is the angle in which you want to blend your concealer. You take it from up dabbing keep dabbing take it up blend out the, rock, the ash edges and bring it down don't drag it down still continue tapping see 
the rough edges are bended out and to go under your eyes you want to look up i don't mean look up this way with your eyes you want to move your eyes up this way and tap under your eyes that's giving you a smoother surface to enable you actually blend properly and you do that to the other side too so. <laughs> look what came in guys i probably because i said let me tell them like don't mind them anyway the next step in the routine is going to be my concealer and this is my contour and this is basically a concealer but in a darker shade this is in shade 8 from adventure makeup also so like i did before i'm going to put that on a brush just to give me more control over where the product goes so for contour you want to go to the sides of your face this way and stop right here like stop right here then go under trust me this is a game changer for your contour game because i want something simple i'm not going to you know contour my face and all just my nose the next step is a setting powder and this one is the ben beignet um banana powder so just take the powder and put it in the cover it's your powder puff just blend that clean off the excess and just go in gently like just press it that's every single place where you put your concealer i go in with this fluffy brush and put more powder under my eyes this is just to set the under eyes properly and we call this step baking and essentially what baking does is that it helps your makeup last longer so you just do this While I give my powder time to, you know, do its thing, I'm going to go in with my lip combo. Going with this brown lip liner, it's from Iman Makeup. And I got a gigantic one because I don't know, it applies better. It's better to spread your lips because it allows, you know, the <laughs> Butter balm from Smoke and Mirrors. I got this at five below. That is that for my lip combo. Now let's blend out our powder. You don't want to just be ash, so you're just going to press the powder in into your face press it don't drag this powder away from you press it love to match my blush with my eyeshadow so i'm going to go in with the shade i went and like i keep saying because this routine is something very simple and everyday something you don't want to go heavy handed so just do this just to bring back a little bit color to your face see the difference that that makes see this side trust me blush makes a lot of difference in your makeup routine so i just like to go this way and like I usually say, you can't copy this exact routine or these exact steps. Kind of know your face shape, what kind of makeup techniques will work for you. Because I have a very like choppy looking like face, I like to make my blush go this way close to my eyes. And some people like to put their blush exactly on their cheek. They smile and do this and it goes this way. But me, I go this way. So it's to each their own genuinely for everything. That is that with my blush. And the last step in this routine is actually going to be locking that all in. I'm going with my setting spray, 
just have to be a bit firm just angle it this way allow that dry trust me guys let your setting powder lock in that moisture and when that is done you're basically done with your makeup routine this is the final look guys as usual you can ask me any question you want in the comment section and i'll be glad to be of help to you this is a close-up no filter whatsoever this is how makeup looks like on real skin i hope you guys enjoyed today's video it was really fun making this tutorial i just can't believe how much i love makeup so much right now so i need uh, any tips you think i also need to learn because honestly i still say i'm still learning so just let me know what other tips you have for me but so far this is actually my everyday routine like if i'm going somewhere now this is the routine i'm going to follow this is the makeup i'm going to do with that being said see you all next time don't forget to like subscribe leave comments and share to your friends you know everybody always says this year is my year of makeup and you guys never end up learning anything so make sure you share to your friends and you guys should learn makeup and it's not every time you call it makeup artist if you want to go out <laughs> i'm talking to some people behind me so yeah see you guys next time bye